guys, it's Lauren here. I'm popping in today to share with you a lovely layout for the Hip Kit Club here using their beautiful January kits and as you can see here, a fabulous lovey dovey cut file um, there. So I was, as you can see, there was lots of layers and I'd cut the cut file out a few times. I just really, you know, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I've ended up coming up with a bit of an idea that I certainly enjoyed putting this layout together. I have been challenged just to use the main kit but I couldn't help myself when I had saw all these love hearts and I just wanted that splash of yellow so I pulled into some past colour kits and grabbed out some gorgeous shimmer products there and I'm just going to paint those hearts. Now this, this can be done you don't have to paint these if you have some yellow cardstock or any other cardstock what I really just wanted to do was create a number of heart cut files to be able to layer up on the layout that you'll see me make as we go through here so I just grabbed these beautiful shimmers products and I'm just painting out the centers of these hearts leaving just a thin white border around the edge because as you'll shortly see I'm going to be making them pop with um, some highlighting with a black pen just to make them jump and, and not blend and sort of be you know an individual heart I really wanted them I'm going to cut them up and you'll see how they go so I encourage you to sort of think outside the square a little with your um, color kit products and even your cut files and think what creatively could I do that's a little bit different to make this cut file really pop and you know stand out on your page so there you have it I've just used some shimmers products and I've just spritzed some of another yellow over the top just to give a little bit of texture and make it a bit special just drying it off there with my heat gun the good old trusty heat gun there and um, yeah so I'm creating this layout it's February the month of love and this one's going live uh, of, of, on Valentine's Day so I hope you're all having a wonderful Valentine's Day and there's people around you that you love and you want to delight in and um and, and have a special time that person could be a partner or it could be a family member or even a pet I think it's lovely that we have a day where we celebrate uh, the things that the people and the things in our life that make us feel good and make us feel loved I even think my car makes me feel loved sometimes I come out of work I'm usually exhausted and I look at my car and it's sitting in the car park and I think it's such a loyal little car it just sits there and waits for me all day <laughs> So I love my car as well, <laughs> especially after exhausting days. So I really wanted to layer up these hearts and here you can see me trying to work out what layers where, what, what's going to look good. I wanted to back it with that blue. I wanted this to be a colourful and bright layout because all the products in these beautiful January hip kits are bright and happy and they, they just, you know, they feel fun. And so I really wanted to make this this layer a fun, bright, happy layer. And as you can see with those photos that I showed you right at the beginning, my husband and I, we took a moment. We were at a family, like a food festival down on our local riverbank and we're sitting there and usually I'm snapping photos of the kids and I just said honey let's have a photo and it was it was actually a little bit exciting because it, it's almost like we're capturing just a little mini moment between ourselves I don't know if you have that feeling as well but as we were doing it we caught a photo and then the next thing you know my little dolly pops her head through between us and I capture this photo of her being so cheeky and sort of interrupting our little lovey-dovey moment. Um, but I I delight in it, and which is why I'm scrapbooking it. I delight in it because it's an everyday mummy moment that I'm sure many of you have experienced. And I think it's I think it's sort of lovely to um to you know delight in the reality of our life. Um, you know, my husband and I, we rarely get out. We rarely get out for dinner and things like that. So <laughs> these things are kind of funny. We'll have our time once they're, they're raised and gone. So as you can see there, I just lay it up. I have the blue, I have the pink and the yellow. And there you go. I've just fussy cut those flowers to separate them all, layered them up, and there you can see, folded them in half, sorry, and there you can see they're really popping off the page. I've used the heavyweight cardstock that the hip kit cut 
well, sorry, the Hip Kick Club supply in some of their cardstock kits. So those hearts are really strong. And even with that product that I've put on there helps reinforce that. In the Hip Kick Club, we've got beautiful products from Pink Fresh Studio. And if you're a subscriber, we also were lucky enough to get some free printables that were designed by Kim Watson that match perfectly with the kit so I have incorporated a few elements of those just around those hearts to really create that dimension and pop them around the heart so I'm just playing here I'm just setting out this layout was coming together really easy and I think when you've got a real bundle of gorgeous ephemera that all coordinates sometimes layouts just sort of plonk you know stick and plonk and they come together so that's what I'm doing here I end up um, layering up my photos because I always like to have a little bit of a border under my photo. But even watching this video back, I felt that I probably could have just adhered the photos on and it would have done it justice. But I go ahead and I add a little bit of a white border there. Gee whiz, I have such a struggle and I'm not sure if it's the weather with these little ranger fine tip nibs that go on the top of my glossy accents. They get clogged all the time and I really just love it but I think our weather here in Australia I think things dry so quickly at the moment I'm really struggling so I I I, I feel like I was having like a scrappy tantrum and I thought I'm giving up on that I'm going back to my tape and I've got some other wet glue there it's kind of like a kid's craft glue that I end up grabbing and pulling out but it was just very frustrating so I'm going to have to look for some adhesive that's not going to clog up those things because I love that fine tip that you can just put those intricate little pieces down. Look at this gorgeous, beautiful, pink, fresh studio pattern paper there. I just had to have a little bit on that and what it did do was perfectly tie into those little floral elements that I was scattering throughout the hearts. So just a small border there but what it did was sort of pop it off and really created that distinction between my photo and the embellishments and the layout that I had done so far. Um, and it really highlights my little girl well my little girl's face she just she's such she's just a delight and any photo I seem to take of her is a, a standout shot because she's just glowing with happiness so as you can see just adding those little borders there here you go I come in with my like craft glue 101 and just plonk stick and plonk and <laughs> But anyway, I'd had enough. I had really had enough by this point. But it, it was coming together and everything was super stuck down because this glue comes out with no issues whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure it would work whether the climate was freezing cold or, or really stinking hot. <laughs> so there you go. I'm, I'm just applying glue everywhere. This is a really great way, especially when you've got a lot of dimension on your page, which I have with those hearts and especially because those that cardstock I've used is very thick um, to be able to make sure that those photos and that ephemera is adhered firmly. So when I pop it into the album, I'm not going to worry about it coming off there. So there you go, plonky sticking and plonking and gluing and just generally having fun. And this layer actually came together really quickly. I'm now going to add some absolutely, I really wanted to add some of those, but I don't. I'm going to go and add some of these absolutely cute, I think they're Chamel, uh, little, little glittery, um, like I think what they're enamel shapes I guess you could call them even though they didn't want to I was getting a bit finicky about my hearts being correctly in position but um we get there in the end they were just a bit fiddly and it just filled in those little gaps and just made it a little bit more feminine and sweet and happy and playful and that's really what I wanted so they're gorgeous they're glittery and sparkly and they just those little cheeky hearts look at them <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they, they perfectly just finished off the layout, what I wanted and, um, freed me up just to be th also thinking about the journaling and what I want to write about these photos and where I'm going to add it on. So I hope you really like this layout. If you um, are enjoying the process videos here, please give it a like and share it. Share, oh, the share button is a great button. You can share layouts with your friends on other other social media platforms. If you want to um, 
you know, show other people or your friends how to pop these layouts together. So, and that really helps our my channel grow. Um, so I'd love it if you do that, if this inspires you. And um, give it a like as well if, um, if this is really something that you've enjoyed watching me put together. Here I am just adding my journaling. For a long time I really wasn't a keen on my handwriting but now as I'm getting into my layouts I realise that my handwriting is actually quite important and I do, um, I think in years to come I'll look back and and enjoy that and so will my children. So there you go, here's my layout all finished and I, I couldn't be more delighted in how it ended up and certainly um, is going to create a feature in my 2019 album. So take care guys, keep scrapping and I'll be back again soon with a new process video. Bye. Bye.